Hello, this is Gordon Wilson. After 20 years, I believe that all of us who were so excited at the BC Liberal breakthrough in 1991, but who left the party in 1993, and those of us who don't feel comfortable at the prospect of an Adrian Dix government, come home. This is not a decision that I've taken lightly, but it's one that I feel compelled to make. In 1991, as leader of the Liberal Party, we advanced an agenda that held at its core the need for all British Columbians to be owners of their economy and not tenants within it with an NDP government as our landlord. We understood that in order for us to make that happen, we had to build a strong economy through generating wealth, investing in our communities, and leaving more of your hard-earned paycheck in your pocket. In 1993, things changed. I took a different path to try to see this realized in British Columbia. I raised this bit of history to put my decision to join a BC Liberal Party again in some perspective. I know Adrian Dix. I know Christy Clark. I have worked with Adrian Dix. I have worked with Christy Clark. And I'm here to tell you that Christy Clark will make the better Premier. Christy Clark is a populist. She's built a broad-based and inclusive party, and that party represents the best choice for British Columbians. At this critical juncture, when global economies are so fragile, it's important that those who lead us have a clear vision with respect to their intentions, despite the challenges that may frustrate their abilities to get there. Frankly, I am shocked that Adrian Dix will acknowledge that the challenges within the international economy have caused British Columbia to reach record debt levels. And yet, what is his plan? His plan is to run billion dollar deficits consecutively and increase the debt. In the 1990s, that approach might have been viewed as ideological. But in the year 2013, that approach will be viewed as reckless and irresponsible. BC doesn't operate in isolation. Like it or not, we're part of a national and global economy. And in order for us to remain in control of our destiny, we need to reduce our dependency on external lenders by reducing our debt and balancing our books. When asked how Mr. Dix proposes to pay down these deficits to pay off this debt, his response is to increase taxes. Taxes on banks, increase corporate taxes, an additional increase on those who earn more than $150,000 a year, and so on. In short, he plans a tax assault on BC business. But BC business is not an ATM for the NDP. The NDP handling of the Kinder Morgan expansion suggests they're not ready for government. Having promised that he would not take a position on the pipeline until he had seen and properly reviewed their proposal, Mr. Dix incredibly admitted that he woke up on Earth Day and decided his government would stop a $5.4 billion project. Worse, the day after Mr. Dix was making that announcement, it was reported in the Surrey Leader that his former leadership contender, an energy critic, Mr. Horgan, was meeting with Kinder Morgan to try to cut a deal for them to put the expansion into Delta Port or to take it south into Washington State. It's clear to most observers that the cause of this major departure from Mr. Dix's position was to try to convince Green voters in the Lower Mainland to vote NDP. But it's equally clear that Mr. Horrigan's meeting with Kinder Morgan was to reassure the company that despite the campaign rhetoric, that the NDP would be ready to deal after the election. Most British Columbians, and I include myself among them, are extremely concerned about British Columbia's coast and how it may be threatened by increased tanker traffic. But I also know that these projects do not originate in British Columbia and that the current federal government views them as part of the Canadian nation-building strategy. Premier Clark is the only leader to have taken a position on the national stage, a clear, definitive position that in order for British Columbia to accept those projects, they must meet five conditions. It could not be more clear. It's been 20 years 
since I call myself a liberal. But it's time to come home. It's time for all progressive thinkers to join forces and elect a party to continue to present the very best option for British Columbia. It's time to elect Christy Clark and the BC Liberals to government. And then it will be time to go to work, to make sure that the promises that are made today are realized tomorrow. Please join me. Thank you.